up and ate that thing right off the surface. I barely had a chance to feed it to him. The sailfish in Costa Rica are definitely bigger than the sailfish that I'd be catching in Florida because it's kind of like a different species. It's just a bigger fish. They're going to average over 100 pounds. The sailfish in Florida are probably averaging 50 or 60 pounds. They're not real big. You're getting them about twice the size over here in Costa Rica, which does make a big difference. It puts you in for a bigger fight bigger tackle, bigger lures. A lot of things are gonna have to be changed from the way that you would fish for them in Florida to get that fish landed. Oh yeah, baby! Woo! Sailfish on! <laughs> Woo! He came up and ate that thing right off the surface. I barely had a chance to feed it to him. I didn't put it back there for about three seconds, but he was hot on it. Man, that's what I'm talking about. There we go. Oh, and he is dumping this spool. It's a good one. He didn't give us much heads up. He came in hot and heavy, and he tore that CNH lure up. Wow, he's about a mile out there. I see his bill on the surface. He is quite a ways out there. Whoo! There we go. It's coming up, coming up. Wow, yes, nice, nice. He's coming up again. Stay on that fish, baby. Woo, there he is. Woo, he's coming up again. Nice, that's what we're out here for, guys. No other reason than that when you're fishing for a sailfish. It's all about the jumps. I got this on an Ocean Max 11 jigging reel and a Platinum Series jigging rod. Nice lightweight setup. I use it for bottom fishing for grouper, use it for jigging, for grouper and snapper, amberjack, things like that. And of course we're using them here in Costa Rica for big Pacific sailfish. Now these grow a little bigger than the Atlantic version that we're used to. The Pacific sailfish get up to over 220 pounds. Huge! In the Atlantic, I think the record's like 130, 140 pounds. Not real big. Here he comes. There it is. It's pretty cool when you see that fish getting close to the boat and you see his fin sticking out of the water and the tip of his tail riding through the water. It's like your adrenaline just starts pumping more and more when you know it's almost time to land that fish. So we're out here trolling for sailfish, and uh, there's a little pod of pilot whales right here beside the boat coming up. I mean, look at the size of these wow. things. You don't see that every day. It's pretty cool. You don't see this kind of stuff every day. Saw a whale shark a couple days ago out here that came right up to the boat, and now all these guys all around us. That's a little one. There's a huge one out of the back the other part of the crew's looking at. woo And we're tight. We're tight again. <laughs> Number two. There he is on the surface. There he is. There he is. There it is. There it is. Oh, yeah. Woo! Sailfish are just a fun fish to catch. You go in there with the expectation of seeing that fish there jump all over the place, nice. seeing it come nice. up and smack your bait and eat your lure right in front of you. It's just a rush when those things hit. Thirty, forty-five 45 minutes of trolling with not much is to find out the area that they're in. We found a nice current line here, and it seems like they're running down the current line. There must be some nice bait in it or cleaner water or something, but, but they're hanging out in it, that's for sure. Got them right here behind the boat. See that? He's right there on the surface. Got him real close. I'm just gonna try to wear him down just a little more before I try to land him because I don't want him to beat himself up and shake his head and hit himself on the side of the boat. Sometimes it doesn't hurt just to let the fish sit in the water for an extra minute or so just to wear himself down. Look at this, I mean, he's just lifting his bill out of the water. Nice. 
sailfish are very strong fish. Don't be fooled by them either. They're a pretty fish and they're jumping all over the place, but they do have a lot of power in that big forked tail. All right, guys, we're gonna land this fish. Hopefully he's ready. Sailfish just go crazy when you first go to land them and you put your hands on them and they're shaking you all over the place and splashing and just not wanting to be held. Woo, and the rodeo begins. Yeah, boy. <laughs> See if I can hold on for eight seconds. Ah, there you go. Stay down, baby. I'm gonna let you go. Stay down. There you go. Woo. Wow, pretty one. Beautiful fish. We kept just working that fish through the water to make sure that he would be completely revived before I let him go. He's doing very well. I could have let him go a second ago and he would have still been fine a couple minutes ago. I just like that extra time with him. But we're gonna go ahead and push him off right now. Woo, and that's what it's all about right there. Fish is gone, swimming off healthy. And we got another sailfish this morning in the boat.